I wasn't present last week, everything is fine. I mean, I'm still in a lot of pain from my arm. My wrist, however, is a lot better. I haven't gone to urgent care, so I don't have an update for that as of yet. But the puppy's with me enjoying the sunshine. And yeah, I just, I haven't done a lot um, that you guys would find exciting. So hi you guys i know it's been a while i'm still in my brace i gotta go to urgent care this week i'm so sorry i've been lacking on videos i'm like two weeks behind i'm having major issues with my internet i'm hoping i can get this up like super soon i've gone like two days um running on my lte which i didn't want to use to upload um the videos because the upload would like blow the data so yeah this has not been great my arm has not been great my arm is still um ugh. my arm is still in quite a bit of pain it hurts like from the back of my shoulder to like around here and down in my um bicep area and then in the ditch of my elbow so i get to go back monday i mean it's better than when it was when i went for my hand but yeah still not great still Pretty painful I'm like um, my nights typically look like I sleep for an hour I wake up in pain for an hour I sleep for an hour I'm in pain for an hour so yeah anyway I've been having major trouble with AT&T and I've not had internet for some time I'm running purely off of LTE um, which sucks I've called I spent four hours on the phone with AT&T and they're insisting, of course, it's nothing. It's definitely something. They're sending out a extender. We're gonna try that. I don't think it's gonna fix the problem because even in the living room, it drops the Wi-Fi name or it says unable to connect or whatever, whatever. It's very rare that I can get on and use the internet. Um, so yeah, t I mean, my roommate for two days couldn't get like Amazon to load, couldn't get like um, Google to come up on her phone, like nothing was loading. It's just been chaotic here. Like I said, I spent four hours on the phone with AT&T. Um, my arm has not been great. My wrist has not been great. I've been trying to, um, walk all of my sales and drop them off at the post office to get those out. Um, Unfortunately, I miss this. I miss doing makeup because I can't really do it with one arm. It's it's just really, really hard. It'll come out crappy, so I'm not even going to try. On the 22nd, we go for our second vaccine. Woohoo! I need to bathe my dog. She's extra stinky. And that's also hard to do with one arm because lifting her in and out of the tub. It's not my tub. I take her to a place with a professional um, grooming tub. So it's got the high sides and whatever. Hi you guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to make my brother his birthday cake and it's not gonna be a cake. It's gonna be more like a cheesecake thing. And it's like banana cream style. So be sure to look out for that cooking video. goes first. It's his birthday. I let all you guys go first. Thank no, you it's, it's your birthday. Hey Baxter, 
Logan, go run. Go run down on the other side. All the way. Baxter, go ahead. Oh, look how fast he runs. Oh, my God. Go get him. Baxter, go on. Go get him. Day number two, I showed up and the doctor said, I don't know how to do this. And so he's like, do you know how to do this? And he gave me his computer. So he retook x-rays. And after all that, I left with nothing. Then about two hours later, he called me to walk back up there because his tech guy walked him through it. Baxter, get it. You should. Go get it. There's more. Good boy. Get, nope, get it. You might be able to get him on movies. He watched the one show with me last night. Yeah. The Sopranos. Baxter, get it. There's more. They don't have none of those in there. Baxter, come on, get it. We got a bunch of baseball bats, crowbars, and little pistols. Good boy, get it. Go get it, Baxter. You're giving up way too fast. Baxter. He says, try it with meat. Yeah. I ain't doing this with carrots. Baxter. He goes, I know better not to eat food off of furniture. I well, it's on the floor, food. too. There's one. There's one over here on the fireplace. Baxter. Do you want some carrots? I know. Baxter, you want some carrot? Come get it. Right there. Oh, he found the one in his bed. Now he's got the one on the fireplace and the one on the couch. Baxter, get it! Look! Get it! You just walked right past it. Get it! Baxter. Look. Look at me. Right there. Go get it. Right there. Yeah. Okay, you got one more. What? It's done because I don't know what you're talking about. Get it, Baxter. Baxter, right there. Go over to the couch. Look at the couch. Baxter, right there. Go get it. Go to the couch, Baxter. The couch. Look, you know what the couch is. It's like, I don't care. You don't want it. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. Mom will sit on it first. He's going back. No, it's on the other end. Yeah.
person again. My hair is fixed. And yeah. So I just wanted to take a second and update you guys on this and my arm and things that are going on. So last time you guys heard from me, I went to urgent care and I like fractured, sprained my wrist and there was stuff going on with my arm, which he didn't even touch on. So I went to my normal care physician and he thinks that I have a tear in my rotator cuff. And so he gave me a shot in the arm and we're gonna wait two weeks and see if it heals. It hasn't quite been a week yet, but I'm kind of feeling less sore now. We're on day number, we're on day number eight. So I guess it has been a week. Um, yeah, time flies. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling not so sore. So that's good news. I've got another like seven to eight days and then I have to give him a call and let him know. I'm still having a little bit of weird pains and things in the elbow area, like in the ditch and on the back of the elbow. So that may have been a whole separate issue. I may have like three to four issues going on. Um, the bicep area fluctuates. So don't really know what's going on with that. But the whole thing was is after two weeks uh, I would have to have surgery and repair the tear if it didn't do it on its own which I have a lot less pain well, I shouldn't say a lot less um, but I do have less pain and so I'm hopeful that I won't have to have surgery and in another week I'll be good to go not totally good to go but better so that's the news on that. I'm sorry this is a weird choppy vlog and I hope that... Did you guys hear that? Weird, okay. Um, so even though it's choppy, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this weekend is going to be Mother's Day. So far the plan, because we're gonna have my nephew with us, we'll probably head out to a local area that's got like a petting farm and fun things for kids to do. And we're gonna like spend the day now that we're all um, vaccinated. We're gonna go to petting zoos and other things. So yeah. I hope that you guys are having a good day. Thanks for checking out my vlog. I don't know why I say that. I need to stop saying that. It's stupid. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for checking out my vlog. And I will have something out for you as soon as I can. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So it's easier for me to film. I got to figure out some stuff that I want to film. I now have... Um, I now have the K2 meter. I'd like to go back to the Munshaw property and see if I get any readings on the K2 meter, which I'm kind of debating on because, you know, that's in an area by somebody's house. And of course there's going to be like electrical things that it will pick up. So I'm kind of debating on that, but I'm thinking I might take it and see if they will communicate with the meter, see if I get anything off of that. If not, okay. I also have plans to reach out and uh, maybe check out a local haunted antique store. If some of you are waiting for my second Pfizer vaccine, I've tried to publish that video three times in which I, I'm not understanding what's going on. I lose all of the audio. Um, I go get my vaccine. And then as soon as I get home and I start doing updates, there's no audio. Now, first when I did it, I got part of the audio. And then the other two times I exported it from the iMovie editor to my phone, it like lost the audio. I've gotten rid of the audio. I've tried to re-upload the audio onto iMovie and then re-upload it onto my phone. No matter what I did, um, 
the audio is there when it's on my phone. The audio transfers from iMovie to my phone when it saves the video. But the second it hits YouTube, which I think is weird because all of the sound is there going throughout the process of getting it. It's just when I get home and I start talking about it. Like I start talking about what it does to me. But I'm just going to update you here and tell you I had zero side effects and I had no issues with the vaccine whatsoever. My arm was not sore. I did not have a fever. I did not feel nauseous. Zero issues. Now, I was told by my doctor, don't worry, the vaccine did still work. It just means that you probably have faster acting immunities than most people. Most people who get it um, tend to feel sick and not so great, possibly a headache, a sore arm, whatever. My immunities are just faster reacting to foreign things in my body. So that's a bonus on many, many other levels. But yeah, I just wanted to update you here. A lot of people saw the video, um, but not all of you. I may upload it. I may upload it later on down the road if I can get it to work when I've got more time to mess with why because I, I don't want to keep uploading it and unloading it and whatever because it gets a ton of traction and I can understand why but I hate that there's no sound. So if I'm going to put a video up I want to make sure that the video is good quality. So but until then. I may do more baking, I may do more, I don't know. So stay tuned, hit that bell so that it notifies you every time I upload. Hit the subscribe button because that's free and I will just show up in your little feed of videos that you enjoy to watch and give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Love you, bye.